uh, here to do a pick card reading, guys. Today, we're asking the question, what's unsaid in this connection? Once again, we're asking, what is unsaid in this connection? We will do an extended read on this, but we'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask, do they plan to speak up? And we'll also ask, what should you be aware of? So, keep in mind, this is a general reading. May not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please, please, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments. Give me that thumbs up because you two be tripping, tripping. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with you. Leave everything else on the dance floor. Moonwalk your job ass on away from it. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can do so by following the links down below. If you would like to book a life coaching session with me because I am a certified professional life coach, meaning I went to school to study the art of life coaching just and stamp those initials on the back of my name, you can find all of that information linked down below. If you're interested in about 80% of the decks that I use on this channel, they are linked down below in a list titled, These Are a Few of My Favorite Things, where you can find a whole bunch of other things that I use from day to day. And if you would like to donate to the channel, my wellness journey, or purchase some things for the site, you can find my Amazon wish list down below, as well as my GoFundMe and my Cash App. So... We have three choices before us today. Choice number one is going to be thoughts. Number 16, 16 breaks down to seven. This is about a seeker. Choice number two, number seven, <laughs> message, message. And choice number three is number 14, which breaks down to five, talks about liberation change, message of concern. So we have thoughts, message, and message of concerns. On the count of three, we're going to take our deep breath. One, two, three. Pick your card. Is it going to be thoughts? Is it going to be message? Or is it going to be message of concern? I hope you chose. All right, universe, beginning with thoughts. What's unsaid in this connection, universe? What has their partner not said? What is their love, interest, partner, person, whatever? What have they not said? What's left unsaid? What is unsaid? Why do I keep saying left unsaid? What's unsaid in this connection? Please keep these messages as simple and as clear as possible what's un unsaid in this connection why can't i say this sentence what is unsaid in this connection maybe because it's unsaid ace of pentacles first card out what's unsaid in this connection universe two of wands oh that flew out we have the nine of wands what's left unsaid we have the ten of wands What's left unsaid in this connection? What's left unsaid in this connection, universe? What's unsaid in this connection? Not left unsaid. What is unsaid? What could be left unsaid? Might be for a reason. Three of wands. So we got a lot of wands. We got four wands cards out here. Virtue. What is unsaid in this connection? What is unsaid in this connection universe? What's unsaid? Please keep these messages. Four of Cups. What's unsaid? What's unsaid? This is really sweet. Two cards came. Oh, three cards. Nope, we only need two. Let's put these back. What's unsaid in this connection universe? Oh, wow. The Empress in reverse, and I'm going to leave it like that because it kind of goes with, yeah, it goes with all of this in judgment. Bottom of the deck, you have the Prince of Wands. So what's left? What's left? Why do I keep saying that? What's unsaid in this connection? 
this is a new connection. So the people who will resonate with this, there's newness in this situation. And I feel like the person who is in question here and what you're asking that they're not saying is that they're very worried about you. This person thinks about you all the time. I mean, all the time, but it's not like sexual thoughts about you. It's not, this person thinks about just like your beauty and like genuinely thinks about great things about you, your beauty, your kindness, your wisdom, your sweetness, your last conversation. Like this person really digs you. They dig your core, but what's left, ugh, what's unsaid in this connection is the fact that this person sees that they're very, very smitten with you. And they see that this situation is just like, it's complete. There's something with that ace of pentacles there and all that new growth that's so fragile. It's There's something very complete about this connection. There's something that just flows with this connection. And there's so many different possibilities and it's like you all could do so much together and you can be so much together and you all have so much in common and it's just like again no end to the possibilities of how far this connection could go but in order for this person to be with you they see that they're gonna have to jump through some hoodles and her, her jump through some hoops and over some hurdles i think this person I think both of you, I don't think it's just this person. I think both of you have a hard time um, expressing what you're feeling because what you're feeling might be way more than maybe the time. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, I don't think that there's a lot of time involved in this particular situation, but I feel like you all's feelings are like insane and they're scaring you to an extent and your person sees this fear and... I think your person is afraid of this situation as well, but your person is so very attracted to you, but they see you as being guarded, extremely guarded and um, burdened. They see you as being oppressed. They see you as ending, getting to the point where you're ending a cycle of oppression, where you have been doing so much in your life by yourself and they just don't understand why anybody would have ever put you in a situation like that. This person like genuinely digs you man i mean like seriously digs you this person wants to protect you and provide for you like provide emotional stability for you but they they what's unsaid is that they just see that you're just so used to doing everything by yourself and they don't want to overstep their bounds um they're bounded by like coming towards you and, and trying to take things on they they are extremely patient and they are willing to wait for you to see you know that they're there and that they're not going anywhere and that if they have to jump through these hoops and over hurdles and all these things like they will because they absolutely think that you're worth it. And more than anything, this person wants you to see yourself as you truly are. They want to stop the, the insecurities. They want you to stop with the sadness, the pain. This person wants you to get back into your power and, and they're willing to help you get back into your power as well. Um, this person could see you as like... Um, a parent with them or or growing something with them there's so much potential with growth here it's just a matter of finishing this healing process that your person sees you going through if if you make it through this healing process and they make it there with you like this is just insane because they just, they want you to be resurrected. They want you to be in your right power. They want you to be the best you you can be. And they just want to support that and provide for that and protect that because they think that you're important to not only their existence, but to the world. This far exceeds just them. And this is, this is so weird because it's so unselfish. Like this person is not thinking about having you to themselves or having you as a possession or and and i really feel like the true nature of their desire for you is it defies words which is why 
like this whole reading was very difficult for me to start. There's no flow to it. It's just, it's kind of jumbled up and things are compartmentalized and, you know, everything is kind of sectioned off. But the one thing that I see flowing through this is this person and just, you know, there's not, there's not stubbornness. There's not anything but a willingness there's just a willingness like this person just wants you to be better they want you to feel better they want you to see yourself in the right light they want you to be you know exalted they want you to understand what they understand about you and they want you to see what they see about you and that's what's unsaid in this connection is just i'm gonna be here get better get better like you didn't deserve whatever happened to you um but you're not a victim. And like, there are good people here in this world that are willing to stand by you. And I'm one of them. And when you're ready, I, I'll be there so quick. I don't know if you're like keeping this person at bay because of what you're going through. I don't, I don't think there are any games in this situation. Let me be clear about that. There are absolutely no games in this. Not yet. Maybe in the extended because you know it can go willy nilly. But um, I think like when you're red, like when you're truly ready, you pick up the phone. This person is there. If you need assistance, this person is there. If you need a shoulder to cry on, this person is there. It doesn't matter what you may need. This person is there. They're there. In your time, when you're ready, they're there. This is a great way to start a reading. Okay. So we're going to do an extended read on this. Keep in mind, it can go willy-nilly. Can't promise nothing. Just going to pull a lot of cards and we'll see what happens. We are going to take a deeper dive into the overview. We're also going to ask, do they plan to speak up? And we're also going to ask, what should you be aware of? So if you'd like to follow me over to the extended, you can do so by following the links down below. If you want to get a personal reading with me, you can do so by following the links below. Life coaching sessions as well. If you want to follow me on TikTok, I have two pages, Mystic Butterfly and also the Red Pill Pusher. You can also find me on Facebook. I have a group called The Braveheart Experience. And on Instagram, I am The Red Pill Pusher. If you don't want to follow my crazy ass nowhere, because you know I am surely lost too. You ain't got to. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right. That was a sweet reading. What is unsaid in this connection? What is unsaid in this connection? What is unsaid in this connection, universe? First card out. We have the world card. World card. What's unsaid in this connection? We have the eight of swords. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. What's unsaid, universe? What's unsaid in this connection? We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Page of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords. You knew that. What's unsaid in this connection, universe? And justice. Bottom of the deck, what we got? Ooh, nine of wands. What is unsaid in this connection? What is unsaid in this connection is the fact that you have moved on, that you have walked through the threshold and you have begun again. You've ended the cycle with this person and this person, their world is caving in on them. Like their world is just getting smarter, smarter, smaller. They're thinking about um, the fact that you've left and that they never thought that you would. This person has been... Um, can't come up with the right words to say to you. This person just feels like 
there's no opportunity for a second chance. There's no opportunity to begin again, that you've moved on and that you're now nurturing yourself and you're coming back into your glory. You're coming back into your beauty because that may have been lost. Seeing that person in that eight of swords be so engulfed in darkness, like this person had some mental health issues that they projected onto you that probably took a toll on you and really had you blocking your intuition, blocking your intuitive nudges, not seeing things clearly, wearing rose colored glasses, you know, not noticing the red flags. And I think that it's taken a very long time for this situation. This is something with a lot of history. And I think that it's taken a very long time for this situation to come to a close, for this cycle to actually end. But this is all about right sight. And so I feel as though in a perfect world, this person would say that they would love you. Like you deserve to be loved. You, you know, you deserve to, um, to be given to. But I feel like this person is saying that they were very selfish and that they love themselves more and they just gave you whatever was left over and that they are aware of the betrayal they are aware of everything that they did to you and they are holding themselves accountable in their own mind only because the universe is um like they're reaping what they sow at this point they feel like they have no choice but to see this in right sight and they understand why you left they understand all that they put you through and subjected you to and they see you as being healed or, or they hope that you can heal from this situation because this was bad whatever they did to you was bad you may have gained weight you i feel like there's something about you it affected your health and you didn't look like who you were it really, really, really changed your the who you truly are, the fundamentals of you. And I think that it had you focusing quite a bit on um, this person. This person seems like they played victim a lot. This person seems like it was always something wrong with them. Um, you know, they, they were paralyzed in a lot of their fears. There was a lot of self-sabotage. They were stuck. So there wasn't a lot of movement in this connection and you all were like chasing your tails you were um swallowing yourself engulfing yourself you know and and i think that it blocked a lot of your energy wheels and i think that that wreaked havoc on your nervous system i think that it wreaked havoc on your overall health and i think that this person is um hoping that you're better hoping i feel like i don't see it but i do feel like this person is watching you or keeping an eye on you but this person just wants to say like you're a beautiful person and they're they're immature pretty much you know they are very temporary very flimsy and they were not relationship material and they gave you the overflow whatever was left you know whatever was left they'd give you that but they wouldn't you know they they said that they loved you. This is what it is. This person tricked you almost. They said that they loved you, but then they betrayed you and that they're paying for it. That sums it up right there. That's what's unsaid. They claim to have loved you. They betrayed you. They betrayed themselves and they're paying for it now. Mm -hmm. And that's what's unsaid. So we're going to do an extended read on this. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. Keep in mind in the extended, things can go willy nilly. I promise nothing, but that I'm going to pull a lot of cards. We'll also ask, do they plan on speaking up? And we'll ask, what should you be aware of? If you want to join me in the extended, the link is down below. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can find that information down below as well as life coaching sessions. If you're interested in following me on Facebook, I have a group called The Braveheart Experience. On TikTok, I have two pages, Mystic Butterfly and also the Red Pill Pusher. And on Instagram, I'm the Red Pill Pusher. You don't want to follow me anywhere because you know my crazy ass is lost too. Please know you ain't gotta. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. Okay, okay. Last but certainly not least, we got messages or message of concern. So universe, people who chose message of concern, what's unsaid in this connection?
Uh oh. What's unsaid in this connection, universe? People who chose message of concern. We have the eight of wands. What's unsaid in this connection, universe? We have the page of pentacles. We have the sun card. Message of concern. What's unsaid in this connection? We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups. Messages from trying. What's unsaid in this connection, universe? We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Two of Wands. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. We got a lot of pages. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Like this is like one of those third party situations quite honestly this seems like um a little bit of overflow from yesterday's uh general collective so what's unsaid in this connection is that um one this person wants to spend a lot more time with you a lot more time with you, but they understand why you're scared and they also understand why you may be holding back from them. This person feels that you're holding back from them. And this person gets happy when they see pictures of you, if they follow you on social media or if you send them pictures or whatever the case may be, because I don't feel any like ill will here. It's just a matter of you all not being fully together and this person is longing for you. This person like loves to see pictures of you, loves to see you hanging out and about. Um, this person just is, their feelings for you are growing and I feel like with the ever-changing flow of their emotions, th there's a lot of fear here with this connection. It's like, we're on this ride together and like, I want to get off now because I didn't know this was going to happen. I didn't know this had all these twists and turns here. But there's something about you that illuminates this person's life. And that's what's unsaid. They're not telling you that you you bring happiness and hope into their life. You bring a lot of radi radiance. You bring, I was about to say radiation. You bring a lot of radiance into their life. You bring a lot of light into their life. And... There's a separate, there's distance, not a separation. There's distance here. And I feel like it's because this person has somebody else. And I feel like you are completely different from this somebody else that this person um, is with. This is a third party situation. You are quite different from them. There's something very childlike. I think I said this yesterday. Something very childlike about you. Something very innocent about you. I feel like this person is always on your social media, always looking at you. And just like, you know, not in a stalkish way, but just if they ever need to pick me up or if they ever want to smile or just like raise their elevation, raise their vibration, they just look at you and it's like everything is okay. And I feel like things are a little bit different at home or with this other person. And I feel like with this other person, there's a lot more just like sternness. And, and I don't think this person is seeing you as like their happy place because this other person is like this. I think this person, your person and the other person are just growing apart right now. And what's unsaid is that your person wants happiness and they know that they have to make a choice. They know that they have to make a choice to prepare for this stability, whether they want to be stable with the person that they're with or stable with you. And I think that your person, what's unsaid as well, is that your person doesn't want to intrude upon your life and fuck your life up just for their own amusement. This, this is one of those, and I said this yesterday, this is a different kind of third party relationship. Y'all know I don't really do third parties. I, I think yesterday's read may have been the first one. I don't really mess with that energy. 
Um, but something made me, and well, we know what the universe was like, do this. So I did it. And I understood why I did it. So keep your judging ass on somewhere else because this is where we are. We have evolved. We can't just stay in one place and talk to a certain pe group of people. We, the Bravehearts have to open our arms to everybody without judgment, you know, whether we would do it or not or whatever the case may be. This is just one of those situations where people have come to a point in their life where they have grown apart from others and it's time for something new. And so what's unsaid is that this person just sees you, um, you all might have known each other for a very long time from childhood, but this person sees you as like light in their life. And this person, you know, you staying away or there being distance between you all, your person gets, they get concerned, you know, because I don't even think that you all are at a point of decisions yet, but they get concerned that you may walk away. This person is very afraid of losing you. They really are, but they want to make a choice that makes sense. They don't want to make a choice that is just in the moment. It's something spontaneous that doesn't, you know, that lacks thought. But there is a, there is an energy about seeing where this goes, but I just feel like... <laughs> I really, really, something in me wants to say, this person wants you, but this person has someone else and they don't want to mess their life up, but something is changing with them in this person that's in their life. Something is drastically changing. These people speak two different love languages. Something is drastically changing, whereas you and your person speak the same language. You have the page of pentacles and the king of pentacles. Your person may also see you as starting over right now too. I wouldn't be surprised in the extended if we see the queen of pentacles, but what's unsaid is that you guys are on this roller coaster love kind of thing. And it's just like, where, where are we going to be when this ride is over? You know, your person looks at you, sees pictures of you online or whatever the case may be. And they just feel good. They feel great, you know, and they don't want this distance between you all. You, your person is always checking your temperature and feeling you out. They're catching feelings for you, catching a fire for you, quite honestly, but they do have someone else and they know that they have to make a decision and they know that they have to consider the, the stability that they want. But there, there's some divine order here that some unseen forces that I can even feel but can't see. And I really feel like this is kind of out of y'all's hands, but we'll see. So we're going to do an extended read on this. Keep in mind, any extended, this can go willy-nilly. I promise nothing but that I'm going to pull a lot of cards. Uh, we'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We'll ask, do they plan to speak up? And we'll also ask, what should you be aware of? If you'd like to join me over in the extended, the link is down below. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, please do so by following the link down below, as well as life coaching sessions with me. You can follow me on Facebook. I have a group called The Braveheart Experience. On Instagram, I'm The Red Pill Pusher. And on TikTok, I have two pages, Mystic Butterfly and The Red Pill Pusher. You don't want to follow me anywhere because you know my crazy ass is lost too. You don't have to. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. <laughs>